Hello and thank you to the Cheshire County FA for the invitation to speak at this event all about creating an inclusive environment. My name is Liz, I am Director of Programmes at Stonewall. My pronouns are she and her and it is a delight to be with you today to celebrate inclusivity in our game. At Stonewall, we've worked with the Premier League since 2017 and delivered the Rainbow Laces campaign for the last six years to ensure that sport is everyone's game. We're so proud of our Rainbow Laces, worn in support of LGBTQ plus equality. With more than a million people lacing up in rainbow so far, we are team proud. But something is still tied up in knots. Large parts of our community still feel unwelcome at sporting events. We still hear chanting in our stadiums, we still hear slurs on the pitch. And our recent research found that one in five football fans think that homophobic chanting is just banter. But we know that these jokes, chants, they cut deep, meaning that LGBTQ plus people in our sporting world feel out of place. We are so much stronger when we work together. We can be a community of people that love sport, that love football and believe it can be better too. Laces have brought the awareness, now we all need to bring the conversation. This year we're asking our supporters to speak up for LGBTQ plus rights. As I say to my own football team, a quiet team doesn't win. So let's communicate, speak up, and in 2021, let's have the conversations to make the sporting world that we love a place for everyone. It is so important to be that ally. Our research shows that one in three LGBTQ plus people aren't out to their teams. A question that I ask people when I talk about this is, how much energy do you think it takes to hide your identity? Always worried that you'll be found out, what people's reactions might be. How can players play their best game if we don't create the environment for them to thrive? So what can you do? Number one, I want you to look at the systems around you. How inclusive are they? When was the last time you checked in with your colleagues about what's going on for them in their lives? What policies do you have in place to support those who face homophobic bullying or that might require a name change? Number two, being visible really matters. Show leadership by encouraging to the wearing of rainbow laces now and at other times in the year. Speak to your LGBTQ plus fans, players, find out what they need. Be visible. And number three, I often think about our behaviours how small changes can have a really big effect. We know what actively negative behaviours look like. We see the chanting, we hear the slurs, we hear the jokes, but passively negative behaviours are harmful too. Letting those slurs and jokes go, thinking it's not my problem, I'm not gonna get involved. That creates the environment for these things to happen. We want our allies to be active. Allyship is a doing word after all, so be brave and stand up for inclusion. Thank you so much for having me be there virtually. Um, I hope you have a wonderful evening and I would love to hear from you if you're interested in more work that Stonewall do. Thank you so much.